Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. To start the day off right, how about drinking one of our favorite soft drinks so that we can use the cap? With a sharp tool, create a large hole in the center of the lid. The next step is to get a toy motor in the shape of an L. Insert one of the motor pivots into the hole we have just created and with a little of our super glue, secure the union. Sounds like welding. One of these screws will be extremely helpful, if not one of the most important parts. Place the screw upside down in the lid and fill it with hot glue like a swimming pool. Do any of you know how to swim? I was taught the old-fashioned way. My father threw me in like a cannonball. It was float or die. Take a wooden stick and mark the necessary measurements and then saw off the part that we won't need. Apply some super glue to one end of this wooden stick and attach it to the motor. It reminds me of a toy I had as a child that threw plastic discs. Get a few tongue depressors from the nearest pharmacy. Take one and cut off one of the rounded ends. Then make a diagonal cut on the opposite end. It looks like the sharp blade of a box cutter, but actually this will be what holds and tightens the powerful bands. In order for it to fulfill its function, we'll first need to create small grooves at one end with a file. Apply glue to the bottom edge of the piece of wood and attach it to the upper part of the stick, away from the motor. Have any of you ever made a slingshot with your fingers in a rubber band? The bands never went very far, which is what gave me the idea for this invention, and of course, it had to be electric. First, connect one of the black wires from the switch to the black wire of the snap. Then, the red wire from the snap goes to one of the motor pins. The last wire from the switch connects the second pin on the toy motor. Then, glue the motor to where I show on the screen. As you know, this, this powerful battery is a must in my electrical circuits for obvious reasons. So, plug it in to get those electrons circulating. Apply glue to the thin white plate on the motor to hold the battery. This beautiful invention is ready! It simply needs to be loaded with the powerful rubber bands to be able to declare war on our friends and brothers. We'll use firepower with extreme elasticity by hooking it from the grooves and stretching it until it reaches the screw. It looks to me like I'm weaving on a loom or installing the strings of an instrument. Does anyone know how to play an instrument? I only learned how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the recorder. I never said I was a music prodigy. But let's not stray from the topic. Have you ever seen the rubber band throwing capacity of our invention? Getting hit with this will leave a mark. Ouch! For that exact reason, let's test it on some inert red plastic cups in my peasant worker's chair. I mean, our healthy and happy worker. Hey, don't run away. Get back to work. Ha <laughs> ha, these guys. Please don't call HR. The next invention will be a metamorphosis from a piece of cutlery to another kitchen utensil. Take two pointed forks from your mother's silverware drawer and a roll of colorful duct tape. Wrap the lower end of both forks with tape. Three to five turns will be enough. That colorful tape gives it such a special touch. I'm a real designer. Put the backs of the forks together and fasten them tightly at the top with several rounds of rubber bands. It should be as tense as the atmosphere when you meet your girlfriend's father. And that's it for this quick but fun trick to have your own chopsticks by joining two forks together. Haha, <laughs> my wit has no end. They can also be used as tongs for food that you obviously can't pick up with your hands. Well, the truth is that I just wanted something to put away my snacks with, and I decided to add it here as an invention. Is there anything wrong with that? The public is becoming more and more particular. Who cares? I'm happy with my fork tongs. Does anyone else here like mushrooms? I actually hate them, unless they're dipped in nacho cheese. But today, a can of these mushrooms coveted by the well-known Nintendo video game character will make it so that you have no more excuses not to eat them. With a ruler and a marker, make a line through the center of both the base and the top of the can, and then join the ends of both lines on the sides to mark where we must cut. Since this invention is related to meat, and since I'm an expert carnivore, why don't you tell me what kind of meat you like to eat? I literally eat all kinds. Don't even ask. Just in case there are subscribers who are disgusted and end up vomiting on their keyboard or phone screen. 
Once we have cut the can and emptied its contents, proceed to clean it with some toilet paper and solvent to remove all the marker residues along with that nasty little juice that mushrooms have. Find a nail file and use it to smooth the edges of both sides of the can to avoid cutting yourself. Take the screws out of your gamer chair because we'll use them for something worthwhile, like holding our mini rotisserie. Mark two circles around the screws so that we know where to make the holes. With a ruler and using the marks we just made, measure where the other two screws should go. In order not to overdo it with the size of the holes, make sure the circles don't go beyond the limits of the lines. I know it'll be difficult to pierce the metal of the can with this sharp tool, but nothing good comes easy. Come on, do it for the roasted meat and for your dear Creator King. This time we'll use nuts to hold the screws in place instead of glue because the heat of our powerful grill would melt it and it would combine with our meat. That's something we don't want, so tighten those nuts. I can already smell the roasted sausage that I will eat. Lately, I only think about eating. Once we have the legs on which our rotisserie ready. You'll need to find a hinge at a hardware store or take it off your door. Also get some small screws. Mark where the hinge holes are on the can and pierce them. Place the hinge and fasten it by pressing the screws through the holes we've created. Everything is taking shape. There are only a few steps left before we can have a tremendous feast. Mark two more holes in the part that will be our lid and drill them. Insert the screws into the lid and this time apply hot glue to each one. I don't think there will be a problem there because it won't be that close to the heat. And besides, it's my invention and I'll do it the way I want. Remove the top part, which is like a ball head screw and make a hole in the lid opposite to where the hinge is attached. Insert the pivot, which will function as a handle to open the rotisserie. To finish, let's create the grill with some galvanized wire to make it as strong as possible. Using tweezers, bend the metal wire making a zigzag. It may be a little difficult to work with, as this wire is usually quite hard. Once it is as beautiful and perfect as mine, we're ready to grill a few sausages. What kind do you like most? I prefer turkey or beef sausages stuffed with yellow cheese. You don't need to make these beautiful diamond cuts, but I recommend them if you want a more professional presentation like on MasterChef. And to give it that wonderful smoky flavor, we'll use 100% real charcoal. A couple of these chunks will be enough. Install the grill and with the lighter, make the charcoal red hot. As soon as the smoke starts to rise, wait a few minutes for the grill to heat up. The last step would be for you to put the hot dogs on the grill and wait a little longer. Being in charge of the grill is hard work, but it has its well-deserved reward, which is clearly to take the first bite of the sausage. Obviously, to know if it's ready or if it needs salt. Stop looking at me like I'm a fat, greedy man. It's delicious. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.